an extra blanket. Not everyone has that luxury. ABC 4's Courtney Johns joining us live with more on how dangerous this weather can be for people who do not have a roof over their heads. Courtney. Yeah, Glenn, the rescue mission at Salt Lake says these conditions can turn deadly easily, which is why they go out as much as possible to give people supplies and let them know what their options are. We packed blankets on top of our tent and waited for him to ice over. Terrence Bass knows all too well how brutal the cold weather can get. A co-worker of mine, I work across the street at the Maverick, uh, is outside and they're looking for, for shelter in this winter storm. The rescue mission of Salt Lake goes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays to camps, handing out blankets and other things people might need to let them know where they can get more help if they want it. At least try and keep them warm, try and help them out, and, and more than anything, build a friendship with them, show them that they matter. Between the health department closing a homeless camp and an overflow shelter closing over staffing, counselor Steve Spies says they hit capacity fast. I mean, what else can you say? I'm sorry. we. We're full. We don't have anywhere left tonight. Here are your options. Here are the places you can go. And on cold nights like this, he worries about the people who don't want to stay in a shelter. For some people, it's that they don't feel comfortable around people, and so they don't want to be in a shelter full of people. Terrence says he was one of those people. It was a shock to the system. But now it's home, and he says he gets so much more than just a warm place to stay. Compassion. A little bit of compassion and understanding goes a long way out there. Now there is some good news in this. Since the pandemic hit, things have improved at the facility. They say at one point they could only house around 60 men at their sh around 30 men, excuse me, at their shelter, which is about a third of their capacity. But tonight they are able to house around 100 men at their facility. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.